For my A Canadian Focus Art Assignment, I chose to study Lucius R. O'Brien. Lucius was a very influential oil and watercolor artist. He was born in Shanty Bay, Upper Canada, which was a village his father founded. He later grew up and graduated in 1847 from Upper Canada College and started work in an architect's office doing drafting. Lucius began landscape painting in 1872 and quickly excelled at this genre. After a dispute with another artist named John Arthur Fraser, O'Brien took the vice president position of the Ontario Society of Artists. He held the position until 1880. He then became president of the Royal Canadian Academy of Arts. Lucius is best known for his landscape paintings from across Canada, which he did in oils and watercolors, including the sunrise on Seguene. This painting here is the sunrise on Seguene, which Lucius painted in 1880. The sunrise on Seguene was also the first Academy diploma piece in the first annual exhibition of the Royal Canadian Academy. O'Brien often included the First Nations in his pictures in the 70s, following the style of Paul Kane. Unlike the styling of Kane, O'Brien's paintings were more realistic and they were naturally rendered naturalistically rendered as cohabitants of the waterway. O'Brien married in 1860, and during his marriage, he put aside his sketchbook, and he didn't pick it up back up again until October 1868. By January 1868, O'Brien was traveling around France, and in early April, he went to Wiltshire, England. He went to all of these places and recorded what he saw in pictures. He became active again in Toronto art circles in January 1873. In 1873, when he joined the fledgling Ontario Society of Artists, participating in their exhibition that April. That following year, he was chosen to replace the disputatious John Arthur John Arthur Fraser as vice president of the society, a post he filled with distinction until 1880. In 1877, after the Intercolonial Railway had opened up the Baie de Chaleur region of New Brunswick, O'Brien was among the first Toronto artists to travel there for sketching. He also spent time in Gloucester, Mass, and possibly New York City that year. This ever-expanding horizon, so closely reflecting growing Canadian ambitions in general, drew him in 1878 to Grand Manan Island in the Bay of Fundy. That year, he also exhibited with the National Academy of Design in New York. In February 1879, he was in Boston studying art school on behalf of the Ontario Department of Education and in Ont Ottawa, seeking the patronage of the new Governor General, the Marque Marquess of Lorne Campbell for the OSA. That summer, he passed mainly at Quebec City, sketching there and as far afield as the Riviere Seguenet. Even though Lucius O'Brien, O'Brien, even though Lucius O'Brien traveled all over the world to do paintings, he kept coming back to Canada. I think this is because we have a rare beauty here, but in our Great Lakes and our forests up north, where it is still untouched by man, and back then there would have been so much to paint and so much to see, which is why I think he kept coming back. Chose to recreate by Lucy O'Brien was Vue de Montagne Rocher. This is my recreation of his painting, and this is the original. <laughs> 